Today's vlog is a combination of video footage from three days and tells the story of a couple things, but mostly us dealing with the most severe cold we've had since last January living in the camper. So let's go. Most of y'all will remember Dandy, the Jersey cat, our Jersey calf, who we sold a while back. Well, this isn't her, but this is what we were paid for her. Um, Three hundred fifty dollars worth of beef. We sold her to our friends who are farmers, and they're keeping her. I don't know what they'll do with her really. Um, I don't know if they'll. If they'll milk her eventually or if they'll, they may have her raise calves, I don't know. They said she's a really sweet Jersey calf and that just is her personality but also a result of the time we put into hauler training her. We took her out frequently, walked her in the yard and they said she's just a really good cow. These are people who know cows too because they have a ton of them. Go out in the snow. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Here, let me get you here. Let's ah. snow in your face. What does he think about it? He's pretty happy with it. Do you I, like it? I don't think he's gonna last five minutes though. That's okay. He can go in the barn. He'd probably be happy in there because he's warm. <laughs> it's not the baby's first snow, but it's the first snow when he's ambulatory. Um, so the first snow he can go and explore and have a good time and not just be crawling on the ground or being carried. So I don't think he'll last more than Probably five minutes, but um, maybe ten, but that's okay. I'm getting Joy's jacket out of the van for her and her boots, which I think are in the barn. Let your boots warm up for a second before you put them on. There's your boots, here's your coat. What is bright and wearing for shoes? <laughs> You need a tug? I'm gonna give it a tug. All right, throw it over that fence and into the water. You need to get better shoes on, buddy. Mama's got your, she's warming up your boots. He won't last long in those shoes. He'll go inside and say, oh, actually you were right. You were actually right. We, I should wear um, proper boots <laughs> in the snow. Gotta figure it out. That's fine. Water is still flowing in the camper and out here. It's only in the 30s right now, but tonight it could get as low as 10 degrees and then it will be followed by a little warm up for the rest of the week. Could be in the freezing temperatures at night, but up in the 30s and 40s in the day. You're doing great. I, know. I didn't think you'd last this long. <laughs> I'm feeding the cows hay in the barn here, not so much because I'm worried about them having shelter because, you know, they've got wind protection. They can step out in the back of that, the old barn out there in back. And that's really all they need is protection from the wind. Hey up, hey up. Get up, step out, step out. Brownie just tried to kick me <laughs> really good. Which, I'm not, that's not a terrible surprise, not normal for him, but he just cut my pants. But he's strong, it would have been kind of a nasty kick. The bowl's in this stall right here, I want him to get out of there. Come on buddy, step out. Step out, I need you to clear out. <clears throat> because I, I didn't know this door was open, I dropped the bales down. But I just want to actually have the waste hay go on the floor of this space, because it's a little damp. It's actually pretty okay, but um, 
I want that so say tonight they can come in and lay down but it's just more so that the bedding in here is dry but I've got this guy he's in there tearing at these bales and I need him out maybe I can get him to go out this way shoo him out from over this wall uh, all right buddy get out come on get out of there get out get out come on get out get out huh. get out all right there we go get out come on go Get out, get out, come on, hook, 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 get out. All right, there we go. He's he's super easy to move without even yelling, just communication, he listens. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say about a bull, but it's true. So I'm throwing this these bales out on the floor of the downstairs of this barn here. Um, so they can eat them up here. And then the floor of this barn can end up dry from their waste hay cow 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 yeah you stay out buddy you stay out for now good boy last thing we're just um waiting for alice to eat her alfalfa here in the milking stand and and the calf is nursing a little bit but i basically supervise this process because he'll come up and try to steal her alfalfa and then she panics because i i don't know why it is exactly if He's trying to push her out of the way with his head. They're competing over that bucket. And then he has horns, so she ends up getting hit. But she panics if he comes to the front. So I just supervise this, and then I'll kick him off. When he nurses for a minute or two, I kick him off and put him in a stall and let her finish in peace. Is he getting milky? Yeah, he is. He's nursing. You have the halter? You want me to put the halter on a cow? That's not, we're not doing that today, buddy. Good idea, though. Now I'm just getting this hose dry, getting the water out of it, so um, when it freezes, when everything freezes up tonight, in the morning, I don't have a whole frozen hose to deal with. We've done this before down here at the barn, and if you have a dry hose, empty with no ice and water in it, uh, it's pretty easy to get things running in the morning. If your hoses are totally frozen, that's a whole different story. Just getting this awning here cleared from snow so it doesn't break off. This is probably most of the snow we're going to get this go around. But in case we get any more, or in case we have some wind gusts with the weight on here, I'm trying to get the majority of the weight of this snow cleared off. Alright, that should do. Okay, we fed the pigs. Loaded the car with empty propane tanks. Got to make sure we don't run out of that in this weather. And I can come in the warm for a little. <laughs> nice foggy. We want to thank you. We want to thank you. Amen. Amen. We're having biscuits and gravy here at our little table. And it is cozy in here. Pretty warm. I have on short sleeves. <laughs> and... We're having a nice breakfast after everyone played in the snow and everyone had a hot chocolate this morning. <laughs> it's a bridal. So it's our first snow day of the winter. Who wants to do school today? Me! Me! Me. <laughs> we got some takers. <laughs> Let's read lots of books. Yeah. Yeah. Me! We went to town a little while ago, we got some propane, more propane, we got some lumber, more lumber, we got some animal food, more animal food. It's time to start on putting some skirting around this camper, it's 24 degrees out probably so it's about time. I just gave the cows some more hay. I don't think they've found it yet. Hay is what keeps them warm in these freezing cold times. It's kind of ironic because it's not like the high energy food that we think of we might want to help us keep warm, but 
that's what's best for them. The first thing I'm gonna do is stake um, two by, a two by two to the ground all the way around the camper and it's, it's gonna just run in line with this and it's gonna provide a place to attach the bottom of my skirting to that maybe I'll get done today. I've got, I have the two by fours, not two by twos. Um, and so we're gonna start by ripping a lot of those down and some of them we may leave in their full. Anyway, you'll see. I know, it's 15 degrees. How does it feel to y'all? Not cold. Y'all are warm? Yeah. All right, great. Ready, bud? Set, go! Our water pipes did not freeze last night, but everything else froze out here. We left the pipes running, the water running, just a little bit dripping, which uh, is incredibly effective, apparently, because our hose is currently just laying on the ground. There's no heat tape. Heat tape should come this week and uh, should seal the deal on that, not freezing for the winter. We've lived in a camper before in the winter. Some of you may not know that. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, soon before we lived in this house, or sh uh, shortly before that, we lived in a camper. We were trying to save money. We lived in it for almost a year. We lived through one winter. Um, and that was one of the coldest winters we've had for years. We had many weeks that were in the teens and just freezing, freezing weather. It was kind of a rough experience. Um, and one that we're always comparing this one to. So we'll see. We're hoping it won't be such a bitter winter this year, but that remains to be seen. Fortunately, it's supposed to warm up today and thaw everything out, melt the snow. There's a nice layer of hay here on the floor of the barn where we fed them hay in here yesterday. This is exactly what I wanted. Depending on the quality of the hay, sometimes they'll leave a quarter or half of it on the ground depending on how hard you push them. And I'm coming in here just to check the pig's water, which is frozen on top. Oh, their nipple's frozen. So the pigs have this nipple water and it is frozen solid. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought it would still be warm enough in here. So I'll have to thaw that out. So I'll go get some warm water from the camper poured over here so they can have the water. There's plenty of water and there's just ice on the top and I guess ice around the outside. I was trying to get my hose running this morning and um, just this hose, the end of it broke off just handling it. As you can see, it's, uh, it's very cold, it's frozen, it means it's a cheap hose. Uh, only this much broke off though so we can still use it but it's, there's water in the line somewhere that I didn't get out. So we'll have to carry water to the chickens and uh, geese and stuff. This guy's at my side just like... He always is. He's imitating me exactly. I'm squatting down. He's squatting down. He does everything I do. And he's out here to help me feed the cows this morning. Come on, Alice. Come on. This is how we do it. Go straight in. Go straight in. Come on. There you go. Good lady. Good job. Straight in. Well, that was kind of careless. The, uh, the both the pigs are out. They're right here. This one's outside the fence, and then the other one's in the fence right there. 
All right, now they're both in the fence. Barn closed up, so they're, they're containing the fence now. I'm gonna try to walk them back to the barn. I just left the door open, I was shoveling hay in. I thought they had enough food in their stall where they wouldn't run out, but they, I guess they'd finished it. There they are, right now look at him. He's like, what are these guys doing in my pasture? Hi right, guys. I just noticed this, the bull has actually moved this old satellite television dish into the fence. It was up there and it's down here now. I'm like, what? Oh, it has to be the bull. He's the only new factor. I should probably haul that out of here while I've got dumpsters out here. All right guys, let's go. Hup. Get up. Get up. There's some feet in that barn right inside the door, so they'll probably smell that in a second here. One in the stall. Chicken out. There you go. Hope he's chasing that chicken. All right, pigs are back in there. I did get their water uh, thawed out just a little while ago, so they've got food and water. And it's time for my breakfast now that all the animals have been fed. This is kind of funny. Yesterday evening, I went out at five o'clock or 4.30 or something, and I started this job. And I told myself, I even said it to the camera, I might get this part done this evening, or maybe I'll only get this part done this evening. Well, when you start a job at five o'clock, and you have kids, and there's something called bedtime, you don't get a lot done after five o'clock, except after bedtime. So I picked this job back up today. I have wood staked to the ground all the way around the camper. A door framed out for the wastewater outlet. And I am ready to attach skirting. This um, board that's staked to the ground goes all the way around to attach that skirting to. Well guys, we're back out of the house. It's been a full, busy day. This is what I worked on for the past, hmm, my lens is fogging up. This is what I've been working on for the past few hours. Well, we had to go to town, but this is a detailed drawing of the floor plans of the house that I'm working on for an architect, including the location of windows and doors, measurements on every room, um, exact measurements of the dimensions of the house and then I have still have to do the um, roof framing and drawings of the floor framing and foundation and I have one elevation here this is uh, the south side of the house just the elevation um, the location of the deck in relation to the foundation and the finished floor all this is for an architect who's actually helping us design our new house and this it's all new to me because oops sorry it's all new to me because I've actually only worked off a blueprint um, in all the renovation work I've done I've only worked off a blueprint twice I really can't wait to kind of see what we can come out of this process with with our ideas um, and this individual's expertise so we'll share that with you in um, when, when we have a design it'll be a little while yet it's another cold night tonight it's 20 degrees probably right now and it should get a little colder um, but we'll see you again soon and we'll update you as to what we're doing on the house it is moving forward it's moving forward 
slowly though. All right, good night.